Sam Calagione here, founder and brewer of Dogfish Head Craft Brewery. I'm here with my Swista from another Vista, <laughs> Megan Olson, our new food technologist at the famous Cabot Creamery. Megan, it's great to have you with us at Dogfish Head in beautiful coastal Delaware. Hey, nice to see you. Today we're chatting about Dogfish Head's latest innovation, the perfect pairing kale ale. This is an unfiltered, juicy kale ale that was developed from a sensory perspective with our pals at Cabot Creamery to be the perfect pairing for sharp cheddar cheese. Megan, can you talk about Cabot's components that went into this beer, which is way cool, and to do it right, we're gonna have to science the shit out of this. <laughs> <laughs> so there are two components of cheese making that have been incorporated here by your team to create the perfect pairing pale ale. One of them is modified whey, which is a natural output of the cheese making process. We take the whey, filter and dry it to then be packaged and used as a culinary ingredient. This recipe also incorporates cheese cultures we use at Cabot that work to give natural complexity and depth of flavor to this beer. So good, so good. And as brewers, we found that by using modified whey along with these cultures in the beer recipe, we could optimize the pH level of the wort prior to fermentation, which then makes for a cleaner hot bitterness and mm. it enhances that soft juiciness of the hops. Mm. And just to set your mind at cheese, there actually is no cheese in this beer. <laughs> it's just been made to be the perfect pairing with it. I love it so much. Me too. So what is the drinking experience of the perfect pairing? Well, I'm glad that you asked that, Megan. This is one of the most delicious pale ales we've ever made in our 27 year history. <laughs> if you look at it, it's got this beautiful sort of hazy golden color that's mm. very cheesy on the eyes. Uh. There's a fruity aroma filled with orange. Mm. I get pineapple, mango, lemon peel all up in there. Taste citrusy, again, more pineapple notes, sort of white grapefruit notes in mm. there, cracker malt, and a little bit of a creamsicle flavor too. It's light body, only 5.5 ABV and 35 IBUs. Mm. When you're pairing it with the cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. the saltiness of the cheddar accentuates the citrusy mm. tropical flavors in the beer, while the bitterness of the beer mm. cuts the creaminess of the cheese. Mm. So good, you said a mouthful. Mm. And as you can breathe, there's a QR code on the can that'll take you right to the beer page. Where can you find the perfect berry pale ale? It's the exclusive beer in our off-centered party pack, which you can find in your neck of the woods at dogfish.com, fish find. There's also a QR code on the party pack itself that'll transport you into the off-centered sensory experience. All four of these beer and cheese pairing offers are there, helping you pair each beer mm. with its perfect cheese partner. If you enjoyed this savory, sensory <laughs> short story of the perfect pairing pale ale, check out more of our off-centered goodness at dogfish.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss what's coming out from us next. Cheers, Cheers Megan. Love Woo. this beer. All four of these cheese, wait. All four of those, my bad. It's you. No, that would be me talking, right? That would be me talking. Does it say Sam? Yeah, that's me. Okay, ready? Right? And just to set your mind at ease, I mean at cheese. <laughs> Starting again.